Whoop, hello, good afternoon, uh, welcome, lovely to see you guys, and uh, welcome here to my office where I'm still working. Uh, although that being said, I'm trying to have a rest day today because the show is tomorrow, so we're doing bits and pieces and working and getting kit together and doing various ultimates. I'm just going to move a couple of bits, there we go, moving the camera back a little bit because I think you're like, you're too close to me. There we go. That's a bit better. Hi. Let me just see who's coming. Uh, Laura, good morning, good afternoon. Sean, good afternoon. Pauline, Angela, Debbie, uh, Deborah, good afternoon, y'all. How wonderful to see you. It's really, really cool to see you. Um, Marie, hi, good afternoon to you. Well, um, I don't know if you were picking up on my Facebook messages this morning. Linda, good afternoon. How are you today? Marie Han, good afternoon to you. Um, Mandy, hello, Mandy. How are you? How are you? Grand to see you. Course, I tell you what, I'm cold. I'm a bit on the chilly side. The, the, I mean, the um, the heating's on in the studio, but I'm chilly, to say the least. And... Uh, Got a lot, got, got a lot on, got a lot. One eleven uh, in New Zealand, so it's really one eleven. It's at AM. Mandy, is that is that one eleven? Eleven minutes past one in the, in the morning, which is angelic time, by the way. Good, that's so cool. Oh, a bit chilly over here. I suppose it's nice and warm and hot and toasty over in New Zealand and Australia. I bet you it is, and um, us people here in the UK have got a well we're entering winter but um, the temperatures yesterday weirdly enough were ridiculous they were 18 degrees which is uh, that's 18 degrees centigrade by the way that's that's temperatures uh, in line along with um, um, summer primarily you know but it's set to drop next week the, the warmest parts of the uh, UK is set to be around about six Degrees, which will be oh my god! Oh, it's Saturday morning in Mandy. She has to rub it in. Oh, we're ahead of you. Catch up. Oh, catch up. <laughs> Thank you for being online at that time of the morning. I really appreciate it. That's ridiculous. I really do appreciate. It. There's my buddy Tom. Hi, Tom. How are you today? And Melanie, how are you today as well? Lovely to see you guys. Um, so here we are, we're at the studio, and I have work to do on a couple of different things. Number one is, as you're probably aware, we are just about to um, start work on a um, magazine. Yes, indeedy, a, a very old magazine. And uh, but, uh, Mandy says, sitting with the doors wide open, but snow in the south. All right, okay, gotcha, okay, gotcha. Julie Sharp, hi. Lovely to see you. <laughs> yeah, Tom's is great. Debbie Lawrence has joined us as well. Um, we are we're working on uh, jingles and stuff for the new radio show. Angie Barrison, hi Angie. Sharon Robinson, um, Angie said, uh, sent a message to me yesterday. Is it okay if my kiddies come and say hi to you? Absolutely, of course it is. Um... I don't, uh, but obviously it has to be after the show, not not before, and obviously not during. <laughs> um, Sharon Robinson, hi. Jane Doyle, hello. Carolyn, hello. Charlene, hi. Lovely to see you. Um, and here we are. We're working away. I'll give you an idea of the kind of stuff that we work on. We work on um, different stuff. I'll just turn the, the, it around to show you what kind of things we're working on. Um, there you go, and I'll give you an idea. This is some of the software we use uh, in the studio. So that's like the beginning or the basis of a jingle. So we will we'll work on those kind of things together with the team and we will create 
that you know the different jingles that you will hear um through different radio shows we will create them in the studios so it's kind of cool you know marie says good morning from ireland hello there marie how are you doing marie mcgrath what part of ireland are you speaking to me from uh jane says you're looking well thank you so much jane thank you very much i'm feeling a lot better k reed hello k how are you lovely to see you um i was chatting to a really good pal of mine uh, the other day and um, we he, he literally just put me right, basically. He sat me down and said, uh, you know, um, you need to get rid of this and get rid of that and get, get you know, take the, the dead wood and get rid of it. And I said, get, you know what, you're right. So I have done such, and I, do you know what, I feel tons better. Absolutely over the moon better. But one of the things that, that helped me get this way is all you guys, all you guys supporting this. Um, you know, it's, it, you know, I'm I, at the end of the day, yes, I do teach a lot of positivity. Yes, I do teach uh, life coaching. Yes, I do do a lot of motivation, but I'm also human. So when you start hearing things um, that are lies, basically, um, it gets in, you know, it gets in. And you think to yourself, you know, I'm working hard here. And you get these idiots turn on you and you think to yourself, what's, what's the point, you know? What is the point? I could just go and focus my energy on something else. But then, you know, I had such an amazing comeback with you guys. And just, you know, you, you put me straight. You guys did. Not, you know, you guys put me straight. And thank you. And because of that, I've been motivated up the wazoo. You know, um, one of the projects that we were going to start in August was a magazine. And we never got around to it. There was just too much going on. Um, but I've managed to clear away a lot of the... the sort of over pile of work that we were doing we got rid of a lot of that stuff and we got rid of stuff that was being sort of said you want to be doing this you want to be doing that and you know what total crap so we got rid of all that and which has left a big um, a lovely big chunk of space to get stuck into the magazine so yesterday i was out and about doing a lot of promo stuff yesterday i was out uh, i was in spent a lot of time in the car yesterday um got in last night had dinner and literally pretty much went to bed i was so knackered so but uh we got stuck into starting and planning the magazine yesterday and this morning i got stuck into creating the magazine and i thought to myself you know oh, let's have a look you know um what would you, what would you like to see in the magazine what what kind of things would you want to see now editorials obviously and um, they're a big thing you know and i'm going to be approaching a couple of pals of mine um, to offer them the option of becoming an edit, you know, doing a, um, a piece in there. Um, I'm opening the door to you guys as well. If you want to do an editorial in the magazine, we will look at what your editorial is and give you a feature and uh, uh, as a monthly thing. So, um, looking into all that, I mean, we're going to do the obvious stuff. We're going to do featured things, you know, featured mediums, uh, featured psychics, featured healers. We're going to talk about the various aspects of the world of of spirit, and that includes, you know, Reiki, healing, Wiccan, and, and all of it. Um, we're going to um, do a sort of like an agony ant corner kind of thing, um, a Q and A a corner where you'll send your questions in, and we'll uh, we'll print that question and print the answer, so it's really good reading. Um, we're going to do practicalities, so active about how you do how you do clearing how you do meditation and various bits and pieces like that i'm doing master classes as you know um, we're filming master classes and those master classes will be available on youtube um once we have what, what what you tend to do is like when you're doing a series you film maybe four and you know so you put the first one up and then it starts going ch -ch -ch, but while they're going ch you're filming the other ones so it takes a lot of time i mean for an, for one episode or one master class it can take three or four days of filming you know so it's not as easy as it sounds you know plus when you start messing up uh and you gotta do outtakes you know uh so and what i want you to do is breathe in and they go what i want you to breathe in that's not what you said you should breathe in start again <sighs> okay okay what I'd love you to do is just relax and breathe. Now that's better. Go for that one. <laughs> you know?
it's fun. It's fun. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to doing these masterclasses. And it's something that I had been throwing around for a while. Um, because people had said to me, come and do seminars. You know, come and do... Uh, come to these mind, body, and spirit weekends and do the seminars, and yeah, that's all well and good, and and I'm I'm looking at some of those for next year, but I don't have the time really to do that. So the best way was, and the thing about it is, when you do seminars, when you do like a a two hour seminar, for an example, um, and I'm teaching all the people in in the audience of the two hour seminar, you have me for those two hours or even that day or even a weekend, depending what kind of a seminar, if we're going to do a retreat, for example, you'll have me on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you go home Sunday night. Yeah, that's all great. It's fantastic. However, it's done. And I've been thinking about this and I was thinking about all of the teaching and the classes, classes that I went to and I can't revisit them because they're done. So I thought, well, the best way forward would be to create a masterclass that people will go to and they can return to it over and over and over again as long as they want till that class fits and sinks in. And I thought that's the best way forward. You know, if we could do that, that'd be the best way forward. So um, YouTube has what's called a masterclass section and um, we were, were talking to them and saying, right, we will want to put the masterclass forward. And they're like, right, okay, let's do it. So we're off and the filming starts. So, But that then left a big chunk open for me to get stuck into the magazine, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've noticed a lot of the really good spiritual magazines have gone. They've all just gone. So um, what we want to do now is create a Spirit Quest magazine, the, the Journey of Spirit. And um, it's going to be initially a download, you know, digital, obviously a digital magazine download. Um, but we really want to get it to print. That's the that's the goal. That's the focus. In 2019, we want to have that on the shelves as well. All right. So that's where we're going, and that's the plan. And we're open. I'm opening it up for you now. I put a, a post up on Facebook this morning about you know the plan for the magazine and what is it you would like in it. You know. So we're letting that fly, and you guys can then put up there to say, well, I, you know, I'd like to see this, or I'd like to see that. Do you know, I don't want to see this, or I don't want to see that. I want to see those as well. I don't, you know, I want to see the things like I really don't want to see this, you know, um, because it sets precedence, and it sets, you know, people might come back to you and go, well, no, I don't agree with that. I, I like to see that. So it is a, um, it's something. It's what I call good marketing and good planning. OK, because I want to hear it from you guys and you guys are the important ones, really. Um, I will have a lot of pleasure and a lot of fun in creating and producing the magazine um, and dealing with people. And, and the whole idea as well is to go and do interviews with various people and have them featured in the magazine. So that's the plan. And uh, we're going to get on with that. And obviously we're going to open um, some of the magazine up to various big you know stores that do all of the uh the spiritual stuff so we're going to open that up to them as well so that's that's where we're going so let me say hi to a few more people so marie you didn't tell me where you're from at the minute uh kelly marie my beautiful pal kelly how are you my darling leanne tonkin hey leanne how are you thank you very much Kay. bless your heart um elsa hi Margaret, hi, Rachel Marsden. All right, dear Scouse, I know you're not feeling that way, like, but I'm sending you all my love, like, all right? There's all that, <laughs> all that energy heading towards you right now. That's going, I'm going to off and running to you. Kelly Marie, what an absolute rock star. Iron County Wexford, beautiful part of the world, aren't you know? Um, we were going to buy a place in Limerick. But we write bid on it, so yeah. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. Don't worry. Afternoon, Rachel. Get well soon, my darling. I know we take the Mickey, and you know you're you're not very well. So we're sending all genuinely from my heart, sending all our love out to you. Okay, get well, rest, uh, drink a lot of water, and take your antibiotics and chicken soup or some really good soups, not the tin crap make soups a lot more a lot more uh, vitamins in them jeff frost hi marie keegan thomas hello marie keegan thomas sarah may there's my lovely pal sarah may how are you today darling i really enjoyed your um your show the other day and thank you thank you 
you're one of the few people that actually do a reading for me and it, it's rare and it's it, I love it thank you so much what an absolute sweetheart that lady is so when you see Sarah May on do do watch her okay she's a fantastic and a wonderful pal of mine so um, she's an absolute rock star and uh, I mentioned on her show hey listen we should do a show together in the Bristol area or somewhere like around that area so watch out for myself and Sarah May uh, appearing on a big stage near you in 2019 once we can get all the stars to align up and make that happen Stephanie Beale has joined us hello Stephanie um, Tom right a4 clearing okay I'm gonna do that so thank you Tom thank you Tom um, I'm gonna do that I'll go through that momentarily okay it's a big thing that I'm gonna teach you all today right it doesn't matter whether you're new to what we do or like yourself like like Sarah and myself who are like old school I'm going to teach you all something today that I want you to do. Now, what I want you to do, if you can do it during my show, then do it. I want you to go away and get yourself two A4 sheets of paper. That's, I'll just get these here. Two pieces of paper like that. Two A4 sheets of paper, okay? I can't use that one because that's the studio planning. <laughs> um, and get them ready, okay? And we're going to do that momentarily, okay? Stephanie Beale. Hi, Steph. Deborah, that's exactly what I'd love to see. Oh, bless you, Debs. Thanks. But put on there exactly, you know, a list of what you'd like to see, Deb. Put it on that post. Here's what I'd really like to see in the magazine. I'd love to, you know, I want to do features on people like my pal Sarah May, who's an amazing, uh, an amazing medium, a wonderful energy and a wonderful, fun-loving person. Very well like myself. You know, she's very, very comedic in her, in her um, portrayal of what we do. And that's important because there's far too many miserable gits out there. And, you know, that's not what it's all about. It's all about fun and laughter and, and having a giggle. Um, Michelle Lunn, Maggie Shirley, hi. I would breathe if I could. Oh, bless you, Rach. Vix. Vix. <sighs> Meditation. That'll do it as well. Meditation. Slow everything down and you find you'll breathe better, okay? Your brain gets in the way half the time, okay? Hey, Maggie, how are you today? Damo, hello, Damo. Susie Griffith, hello, Susie. Leslie Cliff, hi, Leslie. Um, Debbie McAtee, hi, Debs. Leslie, I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for asking. Very kind of you. Mary Jane Card, hi. Good afternoon. Um, Marie Keenan Grath, oh my God, press the wrong button. Do that all the time. I do it all the time. Often. And very often when I'm trying, I'll be maybe in the middle, I'll be you know, sitting in the car waiting at something and I'll quickly answer somebody and I'll press the blooming camera button, you know, to, to do a video. Oh, no, 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 can't do that. Do that all the time. Do that all the time. Debbie says, I'm a spiritual artist. Debbie, PM me, private message me, and link up, and let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. Bob Norris, how are you today, Bob? I hope you're well. Thank you very much for joining us. So here we are in the studio, and like today I've got some work to do on getting uh, jingles together for the new radio show, which is with... Pulse Talk Radio. Now, Pulse Talk contacted me the other day saying it's getting even bigger. We're now merging with a bigger uh, radio station. Um, so here's what we need to do. And so we've got a lot of stuff together and um, we can't just play run-of-the-mill music. And uh, there's a whole part of things that we've got to do. But we've also got to create individual jingles. So that's why I've come into the studio and I will do a bass jingle and then that jingle will go off to my producers who will then produce the jingle before it gets to the radio um but nonetheless we have um we have so many exciting things ahead that i i'm i'm, I'm busting at the seams i genuinely am i have got rid of the dead woods i have got rid of a lot of um the negative uh, aspects of my life and a lot of negativities and uh, myself johanna uh, we're just gonna we're just going to focus in and, and get on, you know, and deal with what 2019 is going to be an upset. Well, the end of 2018 is going to be a phenomenal time for us. Uh, 2019 is just going to be absolutely just wah, gone, you know, so we can't wait. Hey, Kim, how are you? Very kind of you to come and join us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So going back to what I said earlier. If you've just joined us, you may not have um, heard, but or you may not have seen, I don't know yet. 
But a little bit further on today, I put a post up on Facebook for um, a magazine that we're creating, Spirit Quest Magazine. Um, it'll say Spirit Quest Magazine underneath Journey of Spirit. Spirit Quest, Journey of Spirit. So what I want to, you guys to do, it's important because the magazine will be read by you. So it's important that you guys tell us what you would like to see in that magazine. You know, obviously we can't put every sing, single thing in the, in the magazine in one go. The magazine would be like a blooming Bible, be really thick. So, but what we will do is we'll take all of the ideas and thoughts and we'll take them all together and we say, right, these will make great features and these will great make great editorials and these will make great adverts and these will make great uh, columns, you know. Um, so we'll do a lot of stuff like that and in which case as well there's also going to be the shop aspect of it so there'll be like a you know like a magazine shop um, where people can advertise their wares and we'll you know congelate all of that together and make that all happen but with all of the ideas that you guys put forward to us we will be able to bring that out over 12 months of uh, issues that'll be 12 issues yeah I'm sure issue one two three four through to twelve and then year two issue one through to twelve year three issue one through to twelve so on and so forth hopefully getting bigger and bigger all the time um i would love for the magazine to be in print within six months that's that's be something i'd be aiming on to get the magazine to print inside of six months because i think something in your hand is is really um important i mean yes It'll still be available for digital downloads. You can read it on your, um, your, you know, whatever it is you like to read it on iPad, Kindle, blah, blah, blah. Shelly, good afternoon or good morning. Good morning, handsome. She says, clearly she's talking to me. <coughs> <coughs> Welcome, Shelly. How are you today, my learning? Thanks very much for being here. Um, yeah, as you said, answered me. <laughs> well... 12 uh, monthly it's a I, I'm, I'm planning on trying to make it a monthly magazine tom rather than a weekly or a fortnightly magazine that kind of thing so monthly gives us an opportunity to create a great magazine um you're not under pressure and obviously when you're releasing say for example we're aiming for january then that should be finished in december not started in january if you know what i mean so and then february should be started in january march should be started in february so on and so forth or even earlier than that again um and we're going to have obviously the monthly star signs in there so the star signs for the month all that kind of thing um great topics like uh our rachel has just put up their ndes near-death experiences stuff like that um so as much information as you guys can present um we can then mold and put it together and create the magazine so that's something i'm i'm my heart's into i genuinely can't wait that obviously i've got a lot of uh luck coming on next year with the different tours and what have you but that will be the magazine will be part of that and it'll all work together and hopefully by by the time we get to june we'll have a, a staff in place to create and produce the magazine so it, can't wait can't wait jaxie how are you good to see you thank you very much for being here Will you be able to buy it in the United States? Yes, you will be able to do that, Kim. Absolutely. Michelle Grace, hi. Lovely to see you. Uh, Shelley says, having a bad morning. What? No, Shell, you can't have a bad morning. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Um, I was explaining yesterday what happens. I was talking to a pal of mine yesterday. And I said, listen, you know, when I get to a day where it's just going pear-shaped and I'm beside myself and I'm like what in God's name is going on you know I can't get this together I literally go right okay so bang energy I'll go outside and I'll just stand in the garden and I'll look up at the sun and and I'll just allow that energy to flow through me the en the energy of the sun which is very 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 complex and the energy of the sun will come through me and and I'll just stand there to the point where I think right Okay, I'm ready now. And I'll allow it to just pull all the negativity out of me. I'll just let it like I'll let it push through me or pull the negativity out of me. And then I can go back and deal with the challenge for what it is and not what I'm allowing the emotional side of it to do. 
And when we when we have a challenge, you know, for an example, say something ridiculously simple, pen, okay? And I'm writing, I've got really important notes to make, but I run out of pen, you know, run out of ink. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm out of bloody ink, you know. Ah! Doesn't change the fact the pen is out of ink. My temper or my emotional status will not increase the ink in this pen. So, ah, run out of ink. Okay, I need to get another pen. Deal with the issue. Don't get emotional about it. Okay, if it's an emotional issue, only select the emotions that you need for that issue. Don't compile it. Okay, it's the old saying, you know, you make mountains out of a molehill. That's what that means. Okay, you're making a mountain out of what literally was a small problem. Okay, don't deal with the problem for what it is. So, deal with the ink. If the pen has no longer got ink in it, then you eradicate the pen and you get a new pen and you deal with it from that. Should have, basically, I should have done that a few months ago. I should have got rid of certain pens, thrown them away, and got lovely new pens in. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Let's have a look. Yay, says Shelley. <laughs> yeah, so go outside. Just stand and look at the sky and let the sun beat down through you. Lost my daughter three months ago. My darling, you are going to be dealing with that for a long time to come. I will never lie to you. You can be sure of that. Um, but I will tell you this, this, this will, I will absolutely share with you. She will be doing her best to contact you. Allow that to happen. Allow it to happen. Okay. Don't be going running here and there and speaking to 27 mediums <coughs> and only listening to what you want to hear because that's just, that's not going to do it for you. Go quiet and your darling sweetheart will want to talk to you. Allow it to happen. And you allow it to happen by calming down just go down okay and be open to how they contact you there is no given way you know there's no one singular way of how they will talk to you they will talk to you in the easiest way they can make happen okay usually initially via some sort of little messenger and messenger can be anything i was talking about it yesterday um the messenger but <clears throat> between me and my mom and dad is the robin you know the robin so i keep a memento of that on right in front of me in the studio all the time because it's important to me okay it's my little thing and whenever i need my mom and dad a robin will turn up okay um so the best thing to do shelly my love is be open to how she wants to contact you make that link and guess what that's the portal once that link is connected and they they think, oh my god i can talk to my mom boom it'll happen regularly and it'll ha become more frequently because you've heard me say many 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 times you shouldn't need mediums you shouldn't need us okay and i do mean to make the contact with your your loved ones you shouldn't need mediums to do that all right um mediums are not a cure for grief and i really despise any medium that thinks different okay i despise that okay grief is a part of life once when, when a loved one crosses we enter a period of grief that grief is honoring the person who crosses over but you should not remain in grief that's the difference okay and there are a lot of unscrupulous gits out there who play on that particular level of life and that's wrong what we, what i do what i do and pretty much a lot of friends of mine do it as well a lot of good friends good mediums they will then teach you to get through the grief. Okay. Now one of the things that I say. Um, on a daily basis. And I'm sad I have to say this daily. But that's what life is. I always say on a daily basis. If you want to honour those who have crossed. If you want to honour those who have crossed ahead. Then be the best you can be here. Okay. Make something. Make your life worth something. Make, make the best of what you have. Make the absolute best of what you have. Because they're watching over you. They're watching you. And when you honour them by being the best you can be here. Being the best. Getting out there. And making your life worth something. Then you honour them by making them really, really proud of you. What you don't honour them doing is by sitting down darkened, closed, 
close curtains and tears and dying inside and, and getting weaker and weaker health wise. In fact, you actually anger them a lot by doing that because you're not being the best you can be. Grief is a very, very, very complex thing. It's, there is no one good kind of grief. There's multiples of kinds of grief and there's multiples of levels of grief and there's multiple, multiples of complexities of grief. One person will handle grief one way, another person will handle it another. One um, sort of kind of people like Celts or the Japanese, they'll, they'll handle grief in completely different ways. Like one of my, one of the things that I've, all, I've asked for when I cross over is that everybody goes to uh, a lake or a river or the ocean. One of the things that I, I've always really loved that the Japanese do is they light uh, a candle and they put it on a little, like a little boat or a little vessel and they push it out and that's to send the spirit across the water into uh, heaven, nirvana, whatever you want to call it. I love that. Okay, And another one that the Japanese do is they light those candles in that like uh, balloon thing, you know, like the uh, lantern and it floats off. I love that. I love that. Absolutely love that. So honour those who have crossed over by being the best you can be here and not staying in grief. Okay. Mum passed 16 years ago. Dad passed coming up two years ago. And it's their passing hasn't, you know, changed at all. No, I miss them every single day. I'm just used to missing them every single day. I'm just used to missing them every day. But what I will do is I know I can hear my mom and dad's feelings and thoughts and going, get up and make it happen. Make it happen. All right, make that happen. Do this. Honor me by being the best you could be, boy. You know, I can hear my dad when I'm, you know, when I allowed people to get into my psyche and make me feel bad, uh, and I like I allowed that. Okay, I allowed that. I can hear my dad going, "You want me to stick my boot up your backside? You're worth a lot more than that. Get your butt out of bed and get on with the job." You know what, Dad? Spot on. You're absolutely spot on. I'm going to do that, and I did, and I got up, and I got on with it. So I want them to pass that on to you guys. There's a saying that I live by, again, daily. If it's to be, it's up to me. If it's to be, it's up to me. Okay? It's not up to anybody else. Okay? It's up to me. All right? And there's a lot of people out there who blame everybody else on their failures. Well, that's their issue, not yours. Okay? It's not your fault. You know in here and in here, it's not your fault. So, bollocks. Get on with it, you know. Uh, you guys are, um, you're vital to me because I love getting up and doing what I do for you, okay. And it's like a symbiotic relationship. The more I can do for you, the better I feel. And the more I bet, the, the better I make you feel, the more you want me to do it for you. So it's a symbiotic relationship and that's brilliant, okay. So the more that we can build on that, and it's coming from a place of, of heart. It's coming from a place of spirit. It's coming from a place of truth and honesty. And I will not deviate on those things no, under no, no circumstances. Even though the other day I was being called a liar by an idiot. But, you know, I won't, um, I won't deviate from that. And as I allowed that to get into my psyche, I was getting grief from the wife. I was getting grief from a few other people. And then a torrent of energy and thoughts came from you guys, which was kind of my dad's voice going, get your butt up and get on with it. I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to look for an excuse. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get up and make it happen. So I did. So we are. So out of that little, shall we say, three days of being negative, we have now started the new magazine because I've got up and got on with it. So please take the same advice. Please think about it. You know, take the same advice. I was giving advice to a friend yesterday. Um, if you're finding a situation difficult, if you're finding your, the way you are, your modus operandi, your lifestyle difficult, okay, 
then finish the day off. And she would like look at me like I'm going, what? Right, imagine you're working, you're doing a job, you're working in a place and you just can't stand it and you really genuinely can't stand it anymore. Yeah, okay. Then hand your notice in. Hand your notice in. Okay. And start a brand new job. And she was like, I, I, that makes sense. So I said, right, hand your notice in today, see the day through and start a brand new job tomorrow. Okay. So see the day through, finish the day off and start the your, your brand new job, your brand new life tomorrow and go, do you know what? I'm going to make everything work for me. I'm finishing the day off. So you're getting yourself mentally prepared and you get up the following morning, you go, right, today's going to be the best day I've ever had. I'm going to make everything happen. And don't get me wrong, you're still going to get little, you know, trip ups. You're going to get little speed bumps. But that's all they are, trip ups and speed bumps. And people say, oh, I don't want trip ups and speed bumps. They're important to you. Those negativities are vital to your success. They're absolutely vital because what you learn from each one of those speed bumps and trip ups and fallbacks and setbacks, all of the things that you learn from those are absolutely vital in building your success. Take it on board. They're vital. For all of the people who wronged you in the past, and I mean really wronged you, thank them. Thank them. You're probably thinking I've lost my mind, right? No, because they made you stronger. That negativity got inside, but what did you learn from that? You learned that you are not what they said they, they what they told you you are. You know, I was told at school I'll never be any. You know, oh, you're not good enough. You'll never believe this. Really, watch. So I thank those people. I thank them, people. They, your um, your aspect of life is wrong. My aspect of life is right because I am a success. That's the difference, you know. So there is there's teaching around you twenty four seven. It's as simple as that. Learn and be open to learning. And then in my in the the scenario of my lovely pal Shelley, and all of the rest of my lovely pals who have lost someone. Be the best you can be. Be the best. Get up there. Walk outside. Stand and allow that sun. To leave its energy around you, all over you, cleanse you, clear you, get rid of those negative thoughts, okay? And say, do you know what? For my lovely, beautiful mom, dad, brother, sister, daughter, son, I am going to be the best. I am going to enjoy life to the absolute max. And when the day comes when I cross over, I'm going to be standing at my funeral and I'm going to be listening to the people who are talking about me saying Whatever it is you want them to say. For me, I want them to say he was a brilliant dad. He did the best he, he could for his family. He was there for his family. He was there for everybody who needed him. He was always there motivating and helping people. What a brilliant accolade to sail on into the next life to. So think about that for a moment. Think about it. What is it you would like the people to talk about at your funeral? What would you like them to say about you? And then live your life with those principles. It's not difficult. Okay. 10 to 1. Now, in about five minutes' time, I'm going to teach you a little thing. Okay, a little thing that's going to help you immensely over this weekend. Okay, so get yourself a piece of A two pieces of A4 paper and come back and, and be ready in about Shall we say one o'clock? Give you, I'll give you ten minutes to do that. Okay, so it's twelve forty-nine uh, here in the UK. At one o'clock, I'm going to teach you something, right? And then that's going to give you. It's going to boost your life, boom, through the roof this weekend. Okay. Speaking of this weekend, today's Friday, so today I'm trying not to do too much. I'm trying to conserve my energy. Having fibromyalgia, I have to do that. I have to think about that in my head. Um, so I'm going to chill as much as I possibly can today and tomorrow I'm going to be up at the theatre early so I'm going to be at the theatre by midday tomorrow and we're going to be doing all the lighting and sound and all the checks and stuff like that. I might do a little quick um, live thing tomorrow while we're walking through the theatre getting it ready for my show tomorrow night. Can't wait for that. I can't wait to do that. So if you're in the Newquay or the greater Newquay area 
uh, either Fire is True or you know Karen Porter, wherever. Don't forget, come along tomorrow night. Doors open at 7 p.m. and you can now pay on the door. Okay, preferably if you're paying on the door, preferably bring cash if you can because there's a bit of a uh, fanny about to do the electronic side of things. But um, come along tomorrow night and tell all your pals so tomorrow night 7 p.m the doors open tickets are only 15 pounds which is really cheap for medium shows but i didn't you know we wanted to make sure the show was affordable coming up to christmas and that kind of thing as well and of course if you if you think oh, i'm really too busy to get there tomorrow night, i'm really sorry i'm going to miss it you're not going to miss it because the following friday so that's next friday i'm in st column and that is the final show of the year so that's the Columbus Centre next Friday. I'm there. So there's the two. These are the last two shows, um, live stage shows of 2018. Now um, Penny's Tea Rooms on the 28th of this month, so the end of November. Penny's Tea Rooms. We're now opening it up for you to get tickets. Tickets are 35 pounds each. Again, which is less than half of what it costs to go on normal ghost hunts. I think 68 pounds was the the Bobman ones. Um, and I've seen them up to 100, 150 pounds. We didn't want to do that. So 35 pounds are the tickets for the Penny's Tea Rooms. You're not going to miss that. You don't want to miss that. Okay. Uh, five tickets are already gone. I understand. Just went like that. So they're gone. So I think there's only 20 tickets available. So get in there and book your tickets for that. It'll be a fun night. It'll be an evening with myself and the team. And we will be doing a paranormal investigation. Okay. And uh, we'll allow you to film it and that kind of thing as well, okay? So where are we time-wise? You've got eight minutes to get yourselves a an A4 piece of paper. And get yourselves back here. And then I'm going to teach you something that's going to really boost your life over the weekend. Dawn, good, eve good afternoon, Dawn. Lauren, hi, lovely to see you. Sandra Welburn, hello. Ugh, this Shelley, I hate it. No, you don't hate anything, my darling. You're too nice to hate anything. I'm doing really well, Sandra. Thank you so much for asking. You will be able to deal with her, Shelley. Um, you will be able to do it. I promise you that, my love, right? I'd love to see a section for parents who have a child in spirit. Kim, what a fantastic idea. What a fantastic idea. Go and put that on the post. So go onto my Facebook page um, or go onto the, face, the page that I did, you know, and it'll say, you know, we're doing this new magazine. We want you to give your ideas. Stick it on there, Kim. That's a great idea. That will help so many millions of people worldwide who are dealing with the loss of a child. That is a fantastic idea, Kim. Thank you. I will definitely make sure that's implemented. That's a brilliant idea. She was on Facebook a lot and I see it there. I know, my darling, but don't think past. Think ahead. Think future. Now, one of the things that I will say, Shelley, is... Um, not only with, with in relation to your daughter, but all of our friends who have crossed over. Okay, do you let's let's let me flip it over. I'll take you here and them, and I flip it over. Okay, so you're in spirit looking back at all your friends and family. So you're here, they're here looking down on you. All of them, your your daughter, your you know grandparents, cousins, mothers, brothers, all like watching back at you. Okay, I flick it over. How long do you want to see all of these people in tears and down and sad and crying and negative? How long do you want to see that? So you're standing here looking at all these people and they're all down, they're all in tears, they're all sad, they're all negative, they're not going out, they're not, they're not um, you know, dealing with life. They're just literally going down and they're bringing each other down and they're arguing and fighting because that's what we do when, when we lost someone. Um, the 99% of the people have no idea how to deal with the loss so they attack each other. Simple, okay? So how long do you want to see that? Usually, 99% of the time, people will go, I don't want to see that. I no, I don't want to see it at all. Remember that. Remember that. Because all these people looking back at you do not want to see you doing that either. They want to see you out there and making something of the life and honouring them. Okay? That's what they want to see. Anne Sutherland, the Luan, how are you doing today though? Um, you do stand up girl and you just you you be a voice for all of those lovely people who have, have had some have a, a son or a daughter who crossed over. Be a voice. Be a part of it. Okay? Maria P 
Pete, Peter, good afternoon. Lovely to see you guys. There you are, Shelley. You've just used the words. She loved me so much. And I know she won't want me to be sad. There you go. That's it. That's the key. She loved me so much. And it's the love we have for our loved ones. The love we have for each other. That's what we take with us. Just that. Nothing else. We don't take all, you know, I get a lot of people saying to me, oh yeah, but are they, you know, do they forgive me? They, they don't take that with them. They take the love with them. That's all they take. Tom says that's a peaceful idea. Thank you, Tom. And you're a good person. You know, you've got that energy within you. And when you become, you know, when you select the fact that you are peaceful and you are at peace and you're going to be a strong and good and driven motivator, then you pass that all out as well. That goes out into your, your sons, that goes out into your family, your brothers, your sisters, you know, your moms, your dads, your cousins. That all, you affect them all in a positive way and they look to you, even though you're the one with the loss. They look to you for that guidance. And if you can do it that way, you're just going to do so many great things. It's a really, really great thing, you know. Honour them by being the best you can be here. I lost my mom this year. And miss her so much. Completely understand that one, Sandra. Completely understand that one. I lost my dad on Good Friday. Literally the Friday before Easter. Now Easter used to be a huge thing in my family. It just was monstrous, you know. I can remember going right back to literally when I was, oh gosh, six, seven years old. When we, we, we used to paint, you know, my mum would boil eggs, you know, normal eggs. And we paint them, you know, we we draw little things on them and paint them. And then we, she would put them all into like egg boxes and we would go way off and have a big picnic. And we would roll the eggs down until they cracked and then you'd peel them back and eat them. And it was, you know, such fantastic times. And you have your chocolate Easter eggs and, and it was a great, great time. And so when my dad passed on Good Friday morning, I got the message at around about 11 o'clock. When he passed a Good Friday morning, I it wrecked Easter. It wrecked it. And then the, the Easter that followed his crossing came into play. And I wasn't that motivated. But I was then getting weird messages coming in. You know, not, not a medium going, oh, by the way, your dad said. That's not that. They're just, you know, they're coming in and, and I'm, I'm open to them. And they're going, hey. Honour me by making Easter happen. Honour honor me by making it good. Make it great. And enjoying all the great times we had together. Not the fact that I had to go home on Friday. That, that good Friday. Easter is about a beginning. Hence the egg. The egg is the start. The beginning. Um, and honour me by having your family do the great things that we did. And having it and enjoying it. And I'll be right there with you. Same thing with my mom. My mom's thing was Christmas. You know. And people would come, my friends would come from miles just to see my mom's Christmas tree. Because she would decorate the most beautiful and perfect Christmas trees. And, and my pals used to go like, is it okay, you know, can we come around and, and see and hang out with your mom? And it was not to hang out with my mom or, or even hang out with me. It was to see my mom's Christmas tree. Uh, and they used to do that. So now... It's my job to have Halloween, um, Christmas and Easter and make them brilliant holidays. And I'm going to integrate into my family now. Um, uh, thank, uh, what do you call it? Um, you guys are American. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Uh, the Americans do a thing called Thanksgiving. I'm going to integrate that because that is a fantastic thing. When we all sit down with our families and we're thankful for what we have we actually visualize and verbalize what we're thankful for that that's something we're missing here in the uk we have adopted so many americanisms we yet we don't adopt that and i just don't get why because it is a great 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 thing you know what is it you're thankful for a lot of people focus on what they haven't got okay there's one o'clock so let me just say hi to a few people before i, I go in with what we're about to do Michelle Alder, hi. Lovely to see you there. Uh, 
Okay, just going on down. Just want to excuse me. I, I am quickly. Your words help me. I'm I'm thankful for that, Shelley. I'm I am thankful for that. I'm glad I haven't. Love you too. Thank you so much, Lucy Ming. Hi, Eva. Good afternoon, Tracy. Good afternoon too. Kay, uh, I've listened to your advice and thinking more positive has made things a lot better. Thank you, my darling. Sandy Ingham, one of my lovely lovely pals. Amazing, Sandy Ingham. Whoop. Mind blowing. Sandy Ingham. That's what I'm. I want to really feature uh, Sandy in the magazine. That's a, that's that's a definite given. Hello from Australia. So she's even talking to me from Oz. Uh, if you got jet lag, my darling, you should be sound asleep. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying Australia. I'm going out there next year, so I'm. Um, I hope you're enjoying it and lay the path and tell them all about Paul Francis coming out. <laughs> uh, Debbie says, looking forward to tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you. Um, can you pay at the door says Sean yes you can you'll be able to pay tomorrow night at the door um, but spread the word get as many people in as possible in fact what I said was if you bring 10 people I'll give you your place, your place free there you go Debbie Ogden my lovely pal Debbie Ogden Daniel Louise Thomas Dan how are you bud uh, Debbie Code Cindy Rouché hello Cindy Rouché Cindy Rouché do you know when I see Cindy, I see all the hard work that she put into Spirit Quest. But I also see and hear and think of steak, steak chicken fried steak. That's what I keep. Because she was the first person to explain to me what chicken fried steak was. And once she was explaining to me, I was drooling. And I was thinking, oh my God, I can't wait to have that. When I go to Florida next year, I'm going to have Cindy Cook's chicken fried steak. Carla, hi. Um, it's snowing like crazy, says Kim. The snow is making everything beautiful again and a new start. It's amazing that. Just want to think about that for two seconds. I know we're, I'm going to do a, a little exercise with you guys in a moment. But you got Kim telling me how beautiful and the snowfall and makes everything quiet and clean and clear. And it is it is beautiful. I love snowfall, especially in the country where I, I live in the country. So when you see the snow blanketing all of the fields and the trees and everything goes quiet except for the little birds chirping and it's beautiful and amazing and yet I take you guys right down to the south of America in California where all that atrocities happen 12,000 homes lost 12,000 homes gone that's a town or a city <sighs> gone so it's just amazing how that kind of thing that balance is in there I was just thinking about that so sending all our love all our strength and all our energy to all of those people in California who are dealing with that loss. I know there's a lot of people out there going, "Yeah, but they're big celebrities; they can afford it." You, you, there's, there's a that's that's not something money can buy. You know, that's a loss. That's a loss from in here. Um, Rob Lowe was on this morning talking about it um, on TV here in the UK, and he was saying that the streets that he used to run about in as a boy. And used to play and then and had so much an emotional attachment to are gone they're gone and he said I, they, those will never be there again they're gone so we haven't really grasped on the atrocity that's going out there instead over here in the uk they're just their heads up their backsides with this brexit crap yet there are people losing their houses homes and lives in the world but we're what yapping on about brexit bollocks all right which is a load of horse shit anyway because um it'll never go the way they say they're going to go they oh, oh yeah but we're going to do that oh we're going to natasha hi you're waking up with severe vertigo lie down close your eyes and put yourself on a beach that's the way to do it cindy uh, Carla says, good morning, Paul. I'm worried of why my husband is having dreams that he's being murdered. Um, I actually don't know the answer to that, my darling. Uh, that is um, something to be thought about. And maybe um, if he's having these dreams about being murdered, are they the same dream constantly? That's a question. Are they the same dream constantly? And my second point to that would be, if it's the same dream constantly, it could be a little back into uh, a past life. It could be like a quick visit to a past life. It can happen. Um, but 
Also, look up dream interpretations. Now, here's what when I'm giving people advice to have a look on dream interpretations um, on the internet. I always say look at three to five different sites. So you type in dream interpretations and up comes multiples of sites. And I say look at between three and five, maybe six different sites. And if you have three um, sites all saying the same thing, then you're pretty much on the right track. Because if you have all different ones, you just, you don't know, you're known further forward. Or you might be drawn to one. That might not be an answer. But my advice is have we look at it. I have no answer to it myself, my love. Okay. But my initial thoughts and feeling is he could have just quickly revisited a previous life. Got it myself. Gabby Fizz. We do love doing th Thanksgiving, says Tom. Do you, actually, do, do you ever? Gavin Keane. Hey, Gav. How are you, buddy? Good afternoon to you. It's 7 a.m., uh, says Eva. Well, good morning, then. Cindy Bruce says, we always spend our Thanksgiving on the Indian Reservation to celebrate. And do send some pics. Do. Okay, so we're at the bottom. Um, oh, there's Tom's just said, the fire has taken my aunt's home. I'm sorry to see, hear that, um, Tom. I really am genuinely sorry. I, I, I mean that. I'm sorry to hear that. As I say, sending on our love out to all of those people who are dealing with that loss and dealing with that atrocity in the United States at the minute. I couldn't believe my ears this morning when I heard it on the news. 12,000 homes gone. Just gone. And that means not just the buildings, the roofs and the walls. That means all the possessions inside. All the possessions that can't ever be replaced, by the way. Okay, That's when you go back into here and you go back into here. Okay, And that's where our friends and family who have crossed over. That's the, where they are a big part of our lives here as well. So, um, here's something that I'm going to help you guys with. I'm going to give you a little exercise to do. And it's important that you take this exercise on board. I really do mean this. Take it on board. I don't want you to do this exercise. And I don't want you getting all, uh, you know, flubberly about it. You know, going, oh, I don't know. Just bloody do it, okay? And do the exercise to the utmost. Do it 100%, okay? Are you ready? So what I'm going to wait for, while I'm having a wee quick drink of my coffee, I want you to go, just type the word yes in. If you're ready to go with this, just type the word yes in. Off you go. Okay, while well, I'm having a quick brew. I'm waiting on you, by the way. So, hurry up. You know, I'm going to type the word yes. Three letters. Y-E-S. Go. Click. Or N-O. No, I'm not ready. Go. Um, and click it on there now. Get in there. Make it happen, Captain. Tom is ready. But then again, Tom has been ready for three days now. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Click those letters. Threes. Carry on, you've just joined at the right time. Come on, y'all. Click the rest of those. I want everybody who's watching me today to click yes. Come on. I know there's there's more than, I don't know, ten of you. Tom's in limbo. <laughs> hey, folks, stick around because you're going to see a lot more of Tom Harvey. Okay, we've got some seriously cool things planned for 2019. Susan Moss just joined us. You've just joined us at the right time, Susan. Come on. When you're ready, click yes. That means you're giving me a commitment. So come on. Let's do this. i got to drink this anyway because it's getting cold. Cynthia Gordon. Hi. Oh, there you are. I wonder where you were. Oh, you want to say hi to everybody? You want to say hi? Come on. There she is. She always wants to see. She's got to be on TV. She's got to be on TV. Look at that. Yeah, I love you too. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I love... Oh, my gosh, such love. Aoife, hi. <laughs> right, so... Oh, what am I saying yes to? <laughs> Cindy, it's uh, an exercise I'm going to be sharing with you guys called The Clearing. Um, A4, get two A4 sheets of paper. Um, I don't know if it's different in the United States, but A4 pieces of paper are that size here in the UK. The, we call this size A4. I'm sure it's the same, but two A4 pieces of paper. Two, 
Okay, so that'll be two. I can't use these because these have got uh, uh, studio plans on them. So two A4 pieces of paper like that. All right. Okay, so what we do is this. Now, I need you to pay attention. Now, the good thing about this is being that it's it's recorded, so you can always refer back, um, uh, you know, refer back, okay, when you're doing it. Howdy, Wobbin. Hi. Right, so, now you get your two A4 pieces of paper, so two, okay, two A4 sheets. Eight by ten in the United States, is Kim. Um, okay, eight by tens. Well, two pieces of paper. Now, on sheet number one, okay, you put down all, you write at the top of it, all the things I don't like about myself. Okay, this is what I want you to write down. Okay, it's important that you write this down. It's important that you do this with 100% conviction. All the things I don't like about myself. That's just what I want you to write down. Okay, write it down. Then on the second sheet, I want you to write down all the things I do like about myself. Okay. So all the things I don't like about myself, sheet number one. Sheet number two, all the things I do like about myself. It's, now it's vital you do it that way. Two separate sheets. All the things I don't like about myself. All the things I do like about myself. Two separate sheets. Now here's where you're going to go slightly wrong. Okay, you might think, oh, that's easy. No, here's where you're going to go slightly wrong. Okay, you're going to go slightly wrong in the fact that when you're writing down on the piece of paper that says all the things I don't like about myself, you're going to start thinking about what you think other people don't like about you. That's not important. It's not important. Okay, it's not important what other people think. It's important what you think. Okay, so for an example, if you say... Um, I don't like my teeth are a bit too yellow. I don't like my teeth are too yellow. I don't like my hair is going a little bit grey. I don't like my hair is going a bit grey. And you keep writing. I don't like the fact I'm, I'm slightly overweight. And you write down. And you keep going down. And you keep evaluating yourself. Okay. Not what other people think of you. That's not important what other people think of you. It's important what you think of you. Okay. So you continue down that line, and that, that, that you'll get to a point where you think, you know, I wanna, I kind of want to do the other one, the things I do like about myself. Then that's fine. Start there. Start on to the uh, the page that you do like about yourself. I like the fact that I'm a happy person. I like the fact that I've got blue eyes. I like the fact that. Um, I am successful and you start writing all of the things that you do like about yourself okay and do you know what I guarantee you you won't get halfway down the page that on on the things you don't like about yourself you won't get halfway down the page but you may go into a second or even the third page of all of the things you do like about yourself okay so you start writing all the things you like about yourself and you start making notes and notes and, and it doesn't matter how small this thing is, you know. I like the fact that I've got nice skin. I like the fact that I have a, uh, my beard is entire, it, it's complete. I like the fact that my hair is kind of giving that kind of, you know, that uh, dusty look. I, I, I like my stature. Um, all of the things I like that, that I'm a kind person, all of the things that you do write them down that you like about yourself and keep going keep writing and writing and writing and writing until you run out or until you actually run out of paper now here's the second part of that whole exercise you've finished writing all the things you don't like about yourself and I guarantee you won't fill a page okay you'll get all the way down and you won't fill a page you'll run out of things that you don't like about yourself then you have the paper, the pages, you know, lots of paper. Start that again. Lots of pages. One, two, three, four pages of all of the stuff you do like about yourself. Like Cindy says, I love myself. Good. You write that down. When you're finished, like here is the important part, right? At midnight, your time, not my time. Midnight, your time. Midnight, twelve o'clock. You go out into your garden. 
You take the piece of paper with you with all of the things you don't like about yourself. You take it with you. You stand in the middle of your garden and you set fire to it. Now, if you're young, have an adult with you that does it, teaches and does it for you. Put it inside a vessel that you can light it so you're not touching it. And, but do it safely. And you set fire to it and you let it burn and you watch it fly off up into the sky. Okay? So... Now it's important, you do all of that, you go out at midnight, midnight, and you burn it. You set fire to it in a, in a fire pit, you set fire to it in a, in a barbecue pit, I don't know, whatever it is that you have the capability of doing it safely and you do it safely in. And you watch it burn and you see it, the smoke rise up and it go off. Now here's the big part. What are you left with? What are you left with? All of the things you you don't like about yourself, gone. All the things you do like about yourself, you're holding. Here's what you do. You take that to a place like the refrigerator and you put it on the refrigerator. People come up to you and go, what's this? What's an exercise Paul Francis taught us, you know, about all of the things that we do and we don't like about ourselves. And you'll find people going, yeah, but you didn't write this down. You didn't write that down. This is You do this really well. You do that really well. This is a great thing. That's a great thing. And um, you do things like that. Um, well, in, in the place of Carla where physically you can't go outside, then you, you, do, you do it inside. You, you, know, you do it in a fireplace. You do it in, a, in an incinerator. You do it in some way that you can do it. Or you go to the window and you help someone else do it for you. But you find a way to make it happen. All right? So you're left with all of the things that you can do all of the things that are great for you, all the things you like about yourself, all the things you, you love about yourself, and you put that in the fridge. And you'll be surprised at how many people will come along and add to that. They'll add things like, oh, you didn't say this. You didn't do that. You do this really well. I love that about you. And, you know, you, uh, you'll be surprised at how many people will add to the things that are great about you. Then you teach all the people that you love that exercise exactly how I've taught you and you'd be surprised because when you get up every day or every afternoon or every evening you go to the fridge you look at all the things you like about yourself and you'd be surprised at how that will boost you through the roof how it will just really enormously add to your life it's important that we focus on the things we love the things that are great the things that are good and the things that are positive that's the important. As a human race, we have a tendency to focus on all the things that go wrong. All the things we didn't achieve. Instead of focusing on the things we did achieve. Okay? Now, give it a go. And, you know, my mom always taught me. If you walk down the left-hand side of the road, you'll be safe. If you walk down the right-hand side of the road, again, you'll be safe. If you walk down the middle of the road... Sooner or later, you're going to get run over. So what you meant by that is, if you're going to do something, then do it. If you're not going to do it, don't do it. Do it or do not. But don't ever half do a job. Okay? So choose when you're going to do it, preferably tomorrow. Okay? So you start, you start the, the plan today and you know you, you maybe finish it off tomorrow, your call. And then on Saturday night, you go out at midnight or in the case where you can't leave, like Carla, you have someone do it for you maybe. Or you use a fireplace or an incinerator, whatever. Um, but you follow that exercise through and I promise you with all my heart, it will change your life. You'll be surprised because people will see the, the positive aspect of what you've been writing and they will add to it. They will see and tell you all the great things that you are capable of, all the great things you already do, but you don't realize you're doing it. And they will do that all the time. And then you teach them what you've done. You say, well, look, why don't you do it? Here's what you do. And you teach them exactly what I've taught you, or you send them to this, um, this broadcast and tell them to come and watch me and, you know, tell them what I do on a regular basis. That's what I hope that you guys will do for me. Tell people what I do and get them to come and follow me. 
This is an amazing exercise. I've got all day to do this. Thank you so much. Eva, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Rollam, good afternoon to you. Very welcome to uh, be here today. Thank you so much for taking the time out. So I have some more work to do in the studio now for this afternoon. And then I go and get my girls from school, which I'm looking forward to. Go and pick up my girls from school. And then we're having an evening off because I need to literally come right down in time for getting my mental and spiritual self in place and ready for tomorrow. Okay. So make sure that you spread the word that you come along and see me tomorrow night at the Lane Theatre in Newquay. And if it's too tough for you to be able to get over tomorrow, then don't worry, the following Friday I'm only out the road about six, ten miles away. I think maybe fifteen miles away, I don't know. At St. Column in the Columbus Centre. So those but those are the last two live shows I will be doing in 2018. And um then of course the very, very special paranormal event on the twenty eighth, which is Penny's Tea Rooms. Um there's only gonna be twenty five tickets available. I understand at least five of those have gone already. So this would be great to incorporate into our Thanksgiving. That's a really good idea, Carla. It's a really, really great idea. Give it a shot. Thank you and bless you. And the very same to you, Mary Jane. Thank you so much. So you guys go and have the best day you can possibly have. And remember, this world only exists because of you. This world only exists because of you. Right? And people say, I can't make changes. Yes, you can. The changes start with tiniest little things. The journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. I hope that when my time comes for me to go home, I'll have made a change in the world. I'll have made a difference in the world. So have a fantastic day. Thank you for being here. I will see you all on Saturday night at uh, the Lane Theatre in Newquay. I'll also see you on Sunday night for Reach Across Live, okay? And um, Mary Jane's going to do that in a circle. Brilliant, Mary Jane. Just remember you teach them who taught you. <laughs> um, and I'll see you on Sunday night live. See, I was meant to see you today, says Eva. Yes, you were. Thank you. And I have my lovely pal Kay Reed as well. So have a brilliant day, folks. Remember... Life changes are all up to you, okay? Your emotional state is the way you feel. That's all up to you as well. No one can make you feel anything. One of the things I taught yesterday, yeah, um, when I was teaching yesterday was do not allow guilt into your life. Guilt is a no-win scenario. Guilt is a negative option that you don't need to have. Do not associate with guilt, okay? Thanks, Paul. I did this uh, years ago. But just wrapped up and don't like so much to be in the garden at midnight. Thank you again. You're welcome, Jules. Take care of yourselves, right? Have a fantastic day, y'all. Bye for now. See you in your next show. Love watching you. Thank you, Kay. Be safe. Have a great day, folks. And I'll see you all soon, all right? Bye, y'all.